Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, shall we? Continuing our complete beginner's guide with our caster, our deep elf. How about elf, conjurer of the human? And we're in the spider's nest. I'm just going to keep looking around and just blasting things as necessary. So, what's the main way we want to take these friends down probably just poison you know the great thing about poison is that it destroys spiders so i can just radiate poison <laughs> and watch them fall and you can see that look at our magic we have 46 out of 48 all i'm casting is I started with a little vapors and then I just turned it on to toxic radiance once there was a whole bunch of them, cast it a few times. You can let toxic radiance tick for a few turns because it will. It's right now I'm still toxic as you can see in the purple text, meaning that if anything were on the screen it would be getting poisoned. And even though toxic radiance is a fourth level spell and I cast it five times maybe right there, I'm only down two magic points because the human is giving us magic points when things die. So this is how you can really sustain with this build. And honestly, I want as many things on the screen as I can get. So you can just poison them all, right? I just push S to wait a turn, push S again, and there's, they're more poisoned. I'm toxic and um, they've hit me, but not badly. We'll just poison this guy with this. And now there's a brood mother. The Broodmother is actually yellow, and it's a giant spider, uh, and it can summon spiders and blow up your own summons. So we'll just go ahead and poison the brood mommy, and just kind of move away from this web. Even if she summons spiders, it's not going to really help her too much, I don't think. I'll uh, get the radiance going again. I believe that once the Broodmother dies, then... Her summon should perish, of course, but she's got a lot of health, so we're going to have to uh, help her out with a fireball. And another one. And I guess another one. That's a lot of health. Wow. And here comes a uh, pharaoh ant, which pharaoh ant we got to watch out for because um, immune to poison. So that's one that we need to give a fireball to. And... Maybe put a fireball there. Okay, wolf spider simulacrum. Uh, ow, okay. <laughs> there we go. That hit so hard. Oh boy. Okay, this turned. I, I was too lazy with that simulacrum. All right, we got to move out of the way. Um, we do not, at this point... Um, I'm going to uh, summon the Lightning Spire, move, and uh, Vapor is here. Oh, I'm confused. No problem. Let me just, um, I'm going to quaff a Potion of Curing to get rid of the confusion. And that spider is gone. Now you can see there is a Orb Spider. Orb Spider has to go and go fast. Um, so we're going to just get Toxic. And luckily it's targeting our Spire, and it's gone. Now I need to get out of here. It's hard to get out, though. Unfortunate. Oh, boy. Um, yeah. So we're making a lot of noise. So we're going to get a lot of attention. Steel barb worm over here. And resistant to fire, but is not happy about poison. So um, we'll just poison it up and summon some lightning. And, ooh, it's got a lot of health. Jeez. Hmm. I didn't expect it to uh, be so resistant, but let's just mind burst this guy. There you go. So when in doubt, um, our evocations are good enough that we can mind burst very well. 
All right. So it's getting a little scary where we are, but there we go. Rested to full. Of course I'd prefer it. There's the way out right there, and it's guarded by the statue. So when we go out, um, <laughs> we're going to have to do so carefully. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to push Shift X, and I'm going to... Um, I uh, can't really remove the exclusion tile by tile, unfortunately. We just have to maybe kill Roxanne if possible. That's going to be a tall order, though, with our spell set. Poison this guy. Just walk away. Potion of Magic is great. Need more curing, though, to be honest. And yeah, just walk away. Take a little damage while it dies. That's the only thing about poison. You always have to wait for it to work. Um, Entropy Weaver is really annoying, but um, what we could do is actually, how far can we get? Uh, Cloud won't go far enough, so we'll just Toxic Radiance and then Fireball this group. Fireball again. And I'm going to put a bunch of poison on this guy. Fireball him. Boy, he's still standing in there. What a jerk. All right, he's gone. And there's a simulacrum. Uh, I'm going to fireball it. I'm going to fireball again. I can't mess around with those simulacrums. They hit me so hard. Um, now, let me see if I can confuse this dude. Probably not, but it would be nice. Got him confused. I'm going to walk away. And, um... You know, I keep forgetting... <laughs> Haven't played this character in a bit. I forgot about that we had Ignite Poison. How about that? Let's use that right now. That should do the job for us. Oh, this guy's resistant to fire, so he doesn't actually cure that much, unfortunately. So we'll poison him up. And we can actually blast him with Mind Burst. Just do this a few times. There he goes. All right, I'm going to just try to hide out. There's a Moth of Wrath. Remember, by themselves, these things are not that big of a deal. Or they shouldn't be. Boy, it's got far more health than I imagined. Hmm. That's what they're good at, I guess. Okay. Well, I ignited the poison and he didn't like that one bit. Okay, there's the way down. Red back. Poison. Ignite. Dodging. Up to level 11. Fantastic. Still training air magic. Uh, I believe that's so that we could pretend like we we're going to cast Maxwell's capacitive coupling, which we really could almost do. Um, I'm going to set a skill target for evocations at... Let's just get level 10 and stop. So you push equals to start set a skill target. You push the letter corresponding to the skill, then you enter the number. We're at 9.8, so it's going to turn off quickly. But once you get there, then it'll stop training it. I don't really want to train it that much. Okay. Um, I poison vapors this guy, and yeah, it's gone. And there is a Colicavora. All right, little spider. Let's get a little poison on you. And uh, just ignite it. Keep looking. Jumping spider, eh? Okay. Ignition, still a little bit dodgy to cast, it tells me. That enchant weapon scroll. All right, ignite him up. So we're just, you know, alternating between Poison Vapors or Toxic Radiance if there's more than one enemy on the screen and then doing Night Poison. Now, Demonic Crawlers are kind of 
a different game because they can't be poisoned. So we need to use different spells. So I'm gonna summon a lightning rod and then um, go ahead and try to get a fireball going. There it is. Oof, this crawler. So much health. There we go. Sometimes those can be annoying enemies when you're relying on poison, but we got there. All right, uh, let's go ahead and just radiate and kill it. Kill that orb spider fast. Hey, teleport scroll, always like it. I only have two teleports somehow. Oh, that's a sun moth. I was like, it's just a happy butterfly. My God, it's not. Um, now we got it. <laughs> he put us into a dispersal trap. We did not get it. We just got dispersal trapped away. Now, this thing is difficult, but we got it. The Sun Moth must be, uh, n not really care about fire damage. Our pack is full, and we found a Phantom Mirror. Okay, so let's drop some stuff. I am going to... Let's see... Go ahead and drop the Amulet of Faith. And just that's good for now. We have a ton of stuff. All right. Get going around the corner. Burn that guy up. Red back. What we really want to do in Spider here is just clear out the first level so we can come and go as we please. Uh, there's a Pharaoh Ant and no... No poison for that thing. Alright, no problem. So I just summoned my Lightning Spire and did a couple of fireballs and that was all it took for that Pharaoh Ant. And... All right, rolling around. Okay, there's two enemies, so there's now three enemies. And Emperor Scorpion, okay. So Emperor Scorpion um, is one of the hardest enemies that you're gonna find in here, all right? And it's resistant to poison, okay? So we need to find spells that will work on it, right? It's fast, it's giant, and it poisons you horribly. So in this case, what we need to do is uh, drop lightning and move. And uh, I'm going to go swift and get away, but it's moving really fast, you can see. It's staying with us, even though we're a Spriggan. I'm sorry, um, we're not a Spriggan. We're a Deep Elf. But even though we're swift, is what I meant to say, we are not outrunning this guy. So what do we want to do? Well, let's check. Can we charm this? Actually, not bad. Can we root you? All right. We got it rooted in place temporarily, which is, you know, very good. And we'll just keep trying to root this dude down. Uh, and I'll summon this. And we'll just blast a fireball. See if that helps us. I'm going to try to root it again. Didn't work. Alright, we got it partially rooted. Okay. We've lost our swiftness, but it's fighting our lightning rod which should give us time to fireball this guy. And we will try to root it. Got it. All right, that is a hard enemy for us. And, okay, so there's a strange disturbance nearby. We cannot see invisible, um, but this is one of the things that's hard about this place, so I need to go put on... 
Um, I have to take off my ring of wizardry. I need to put on my ring of sea invisible right now. And there's the ghost moth. It does not see us, luckily. Um, we can't poison it, unfortunately. So I'm going to step back. And we have to fight that thing somehow. Hmm. I'll try to summon... Well, that sort of worked. Okay. Alright, so we're going to need to... Um, we can see it, so we're going to go ahead and just starburst. Starburst. Got it. So Ghost Moths are really annoying because they're invisible and they drain your stats, um, among other things. So you want to, if possible, um, I'm going to put my wing of, uh, ring of wizardry back on. Actually, let me look at my spells. I don't really need wizardry, I don't think. Let me look at my ring of wizardry again. Yeah, it only increases our success rate, and we don't need it anymore. Like, we're so good at casting our spells for the moment that we can actually wear a different ring. So this means that we could consider, you know... the ring that's appropriate for this situation. Uh, it's still probably... You know, it still makes Ignition easier to cast, but um, it's worth remembering that. And okay, we'll go ahead and uh, blast this. Oof. Okay. She was summoning orb spiders there. I don't want that. But it's good to know that, like, you know, we have a... Not a free ring slot, but we just don't need it as much anymore all right we got caught in a net which is annoying against a demonic crawler i'm going to step back and we're going to summon our lightning guy and it did not work on tricking the demonic crawler in any way so we're going to try to roots the crawler and it got stuck for a second let's see if we can fireball this thing into oblivion there it goes All right, just searching, searching, searching. Pretty much now done. So that means that we've explored most of this. Do we have any digging wands? Yes, okay. So we could use a wand of digging and go th straight through here. And we could use this to interesting effect where if we wanted to try and kill this statue, we could. But it's definitely not something that's easy. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk here. Yes. And Roxanne doesn't see us yet. And we could keep it that way. The thing about Roxanne is we'd have to find a spell that would actually hurt Roxanne. And... She's immune to poison, negative energy, and torment, and very resistant to fire and cold, and only partially resistant to electricity and drowning. And she's got big, huge spells. Like that crystal spear, if that hits us, um, it's very bad. So we're going to go up. And I'm going to go down. And yes. And I'm going to go out. Oh. Um, Roxanne teleported us so what we need to do is step over here and immediately step here so the wand of digging is very useful to us in this situation I'm going to dig a diagonal passage this way so that we can escape Roxanne a little bit better but yeah we're going to want to not this is why I want to clear wanted to clear the first floor but I was just testing to see how I could get in and out and we are going to want to minimize going out that door as much as possible so let's just use the other staircases and try to clear this place out and never return 
All right, let's get this character down to the next level, shall we? And, oh, it's a demonic crawler right off the bat. So we have to take this dude up the steps. And we got, of course, hit by electricity and a crawler all at once. That's unfortunate. So what spell do we want to use on an individual like this? Well, I think we want to just... It shrieks in warning. All right. I'm going to step back over here, and I'm just going to summon my spire... And I'm going to fireball, fireball. Hopefully we'll get this thing eventually with a bunch of fireballs. There we go. So we killed it. And now the human is offering us lightning bolt if we want. And lightning bolt, I mean, is a good spell. It's a fifth level spell. We could easily cast it. And there's no reason uh, for us to necessarily turn away from it right now as some extra damage against things that are not impressed by fireball or poison. It's fine. The only issue I have with it is it's really loud. Why don't you give me some information on it right now? It's very loud. It has good range. And it does one dice 57. And see, that's the other problem. It could do one. It could do 57. Right? I'm not sure yet about that. But it's cool. Alright. And we'll go down. And remember, whenever there's an electric eel, you just go over, evoke, see if you have a wand of flame. We do. Blast it. Give it to it again. Uh, okay. There we go. And now we're just going to walk around, see what we can find. Okay, so we're being watched and our power is leaking away. That is a ghost moth, um, but I'm just going to push shift Z and I'm going to cast a fireball right here. I know it's here. And we hear a skittering sound. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to cast a... Um, oh, it was right in front of me. Okay. So... We've lost all our magic, which is the danger of the Ghost Moth. And it got a little bit too close to us. So what do we need to do right now? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Condenser vein. And step back. Step back. Step back. This spider should die soon enough due to poison. It did. And the brood mother is coming. And we'll go up the steps. Um, and we died. So the ghost moth followed us up the steps and hit us, which I didn't think was happening. Um, and we got our stats drained so significantly that uh, we got obliterated. So let's go ahead and... I didn't realize I was that low on my health, I guess. Unfortunately, this is a sad end for this character, okay? Because I shouldn't have died right here. That was, um, there was bad play written all over it. But what I always want to do with every guide that I make is try to just say, okay, I played really badly right there. Um, and I picked, I've been picked this game up, um, after having let this character sit for a while and I've, Sometimes it's hard when you haven't played for a bit to pick up a character and get back tuned into the zone. But here's exactly what I should have done. As soon as I saw that there was a ghost moth, I should have put on my ring of sea invisible so I could see it. 
I should have departed the area faster, but I thought that I was going to be able to kill it with fireballs, um, and it didn't die. Like, I thought, okay, I've got AoE, I know where it is, I have enough fireballs in me, and I hit it, hit it, hit it, and it just didn't die. I didn't expect it to um, follow me up the stairs like that. And so that... Um, I thought maybe it would get poisoned, but they must be immune to poison when I'm toxic radianced, um, or I just didn't do enough damage. Either way, there was many ways for me to survive that situation. And it's super unfortunate. Um, we had a great character going here. This would have been pretty smooth sailing. And in all honesty, that spider's nest should have been pretty easy for us. We just got unlucky because um, I didn't prepare for the ghost moth being so difficult. But it's not a surprise. Um, and in the spider's nest... The Emperor Scorpion and the Ghost Moth are going to be some of your biggest nightmares. The Orb Spiders that spin Orbs of Destruction, yeah, those can hit you and blow you apart for sure, right? But that was a completely preventable death, and it's a good learning experience. It's saying, okay, what happened? I got too confident, underestimated the enemy, and didn't act quickly enough. I should have... Um, not been lazy and just put on the ring of sea invisible so i at least knew where it was should have been watching my hit points a bit better my stats got drained so significantly um, my strength in particular that um i don't think that necessarily played a part in me dying uh but it it was a a brutal sequencing there where i didn't see um, that I was at two hit points when I came up the steps. And I thought, I, I honestly pushed the rest button. I didn't think that it had followed me. Um, and I should have seen that it had followed me. Um, and the game will let you rest if there is an invisible creature next to you. Like normally, you can't rest if there's a threat. But I think it let me rest because it was an invisible creature. So if I would have just also drank a healing potion, maybe, you know, but it's something every single death in this game is something that you can learn from so we did well with this character we should have cruised it's very very powerful once you start getting great spells with a deep elf conjurer but you still have to play smart and i i just didn't right there and when you make mistakes like that this game will punish you quickly it will slip out of control quickly and it did so, everyone, learn from me. Do not underestimate a ghost moth. You don't have to be able to see invisible. Sometimes you come in here, you just don't have that gear. You can't, um, And you, but you need to do better than that. You need to watch your hit points closer. Definitely don't go to sleep around one. Um, and, you know, some enemies can affect you from afar and might not follow you up to step. That enemy did. It got close to me faster than I was expecting. Um, and I didn't kill it with the fireballs like I thought I was going to be able to. So I underestimated its health. I didn't use the right gear and I didn't abandon or remedy the situation as quickly as I should have. And I paid the price. So even if you have a good character, you can pay the price. Okay. So hopefully even in death, this can be instructive. And I think what I'm going to do with these um, Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup Beginner's Guides is uh, wait for a few weeks before I do another one because I feel like point three, um, version point three zero is coming out soon. And what that will allow us to do is look at characters and see what the new version has in store for us. So this was three characters in point two nine. Minotaur Berserker at the beginning, we had the Gargoyle Hunter, and then now we had a Deep Elf Conjurer. Um, and these are three very, very powerful archetypal kinds of characters that you can try. And what we'll do is see what is going on in point three zero. And I'd like to know what kind of character you guys might want to see. I could do um, a Kobold kind of stealth stabber kind of character if you wanted to see something like that. I could try... Uh, doing 
a more straightforward um, Okawaru warrior type character potentially um, or you know we could think about doing um, uh, a different kind of caster uh, there's there's lots of options and I'd be curious to know what you guys um, are interested in seeing and thank you so much for watching I hope you can learn from me even when I make foolish mistakes and die because that's the name of the game and every time I die in this game which is all the time I try to just learn from it and not let it happen again so that I can level up mentally and do better the next time everyone thank you so much for watching take care